Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining me Tootsie. Here at Snake Lady Tarot, thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. I'm going to do your general energy reading. Take a look at your energy, the energy around you, and see if we can offer some foresight messages, advice for you for over the next few days or so while we're in Pisces season. All right, maybe you're not Sag. Maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. Maybe you're in a relationship, in love, or just generally interested in Sagittarius energy. Nevertheless, cross watchers, you're welcome as well. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here in my space. Um, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification button. You won't miss out on any future readings. My apologies for the noise. Uh, mommy duty calls. <laughs> uh, but thank you for being here. Um, let's get into it. Swap the energy rolls. Only take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Don't force the energy. <laughs> Let's go. Bloppity, bloppity, blue. Messages. I've got friendship. I've got go with the flow. All right, Sag. Are you fighting yourself with something? Internal mystery, memories. What could be, what could have been. Gratitude and abundance. Bottom of the deck, trust. So the bottom of the deck, we have trust, all right? Um, I'm going to tell you, with regards to friendship, if you're going with the flow, there is abundance moving forward for you, all right? I realize in your reflection, when you look back in your memories, okay, some of it is a mystery and some of it you're thankful for. It, it helps you in your future moving forward. But right now you're focused on friendships, bonding, connections, and you're reflecting in your past where things used to be, how things used to be, things of that nature. All right, let's get into it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just trust on there so I have that ready um let's get into it messages and advice for Sagittarius what do you need to know messages foresight messages advice Feel as though you're contemplating heavy. Alright, contemplating heavy. Perhaps people are moving forward in a different direction. Perhaps you're even understanding, you're having empathy and understanding why they made those choices. It's probably a mystery. It's not how it was in the past. It may prove abundant for them, and you're even grateful for learning this information, for having this information. I have gratitude, trust, and heavy contemplation here. Heavy contemplation. All right, messages, advice for Sagittarius, foresight, in, in Pisces season, <laughs> positive change. Right, first of all, we've got a positive change. That could be with the abundance. All right, that could be with the epiphany. I've got epiphany. All right, and I've got healthy boundaries, hidden emotions. So it's a positive change from the hidden emotions, Sagittarius, all right? You're learning that there are healthy boundaries and it's giving you epiphany type energy, all right? Um, you keep yourself busy and distracted. You allow 
third party interferences. You allow interruptions into your life. You've got some inner child healing and some codependencies. But there's a new perspective, like I said, with your epiphany, there's a new perspective. Spirit advises an energy change. An energy change, all right? All right, absolutely. Hidden emotions. You're allowing a positive change from being busy and distracted. All right. Now you have a healthy boundary between your inner child healing and your codependency. There's been an epiphany. All right. There will be no longer any third party interferences. You have a new perspective and you're allowing a energy cleanse. Bottom of the deck. It's a life changing decision because oh, life is short. All right, when, if we don't make the changes in a near, dear time, push and pull energy doesn't exist anymore. Sometimes it just pulls, pushes. Excuse me. Yeah, sometimes it just pulls and pushes. That's true. Message is advice for Sagittarius. You're in deep contemplation. It's some life changing decisions. Friendships are changing. Memories aren't what they used to be. The future is a mystery. Do you trust the flow? Do you trust what you know? What does what you know? How far is it taking you? Versus going with the flow into this new energy. Do you know for sure that it's not going to work out in your favor? Do you know for sure? Right? I see abundance in the future. I see gratitude and I see trust. Spirit advises go with the flow with the friendship, all right? You have hidden emotions, busy and distracted. These are your negative energies. And you're about, you're, you have a chance to balance it. It's perfectly balanced here. Hidden emotions. You, you get busy and distracted on purpose. Inner child healing. Codependency. Third party interference. You can make a positive change. Find healthy boundaries. You have to make the epiphany real. A, a current energy and open your eyes living life true to yourself true to the change true to the epiphany true to the new perspective have an energy cleanse and make this life changing decision abundance is very near very close by very near but here you are contemplating I can feel the energy you're contemplating I don't know, <laughs> right? I don't know. I hear you. I'm gonna stick this life-changing decision up here because you can be thankful and you'll always have memories and things can always be a mystery. But going with the flow with the friendship and trusting in the future of others, that's the, that's the risk. That's the life-changing decision for you. That's where it is. That's the power. That's the transformation is trusting in that change in decision. Messages, advice. It's about a vision. What do you want your vision to be? Your legacy? What you leave behind? What you've worked so hard for? What do you want to start working so hard for? Your vision. Super. All right. Confirmation, intergalactic mastery. Try that again. Can you see that now? All right. Mastery. It's a life changing decision to have complete mastery of your environment, what goes on around you. Restoration, being able to restore your energy, restore your balance. Ego absolutely equals death. You have to know when you're right, when you're wrong, when to call it, when you're winning too much, when you're losing too much, right? Know your boundaries, healthy boundaries. All right, no more, no more.
change 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 walking meditation just go for that walk sometimes you need to regain your energy regain your connection with spirit with nature with the universe just having that connection means a lot sing use your voice speak out speak your truth and food meditation i can and have autonomy um, whatever this may be for you. Um, but you have control of yourself, control of your body, control of you. You know, in a sense, your des your future is what you make it. And that's kind of what this is right now. Heavy contemplation. Um, I would, I, I'd say because of the Osupa, because of the vision. All right. And this is clarified by trust, which is bliss, blissful trust. Trust in yourself. But you need to know where you're going. You know, those those life-changing decisions. Where do you want to be at 60, 70 years old? You know, and then is this the time that there's no time to waste? Are you living in that truth and that energy? You know, boom. New perspective, epiphany, healthy boundaries. Because the vision is now on top, you know. You have to have that vision. So, here we are. Let's go. I'm curious what's going on with you today. You definitely need to confirm this, restore your energy, have an energy cleanse, and then restore your energy, right? Because ego equals death. When it comes to change, when it comes to meditation, when it comes to relaxing. All right. Confirm who you are, what you want, where you're going. Sing. Say it out loud. Decide it. Live in that truth. That's where you're at. You can through food meditation, you know. Spirit guidance. Let's go. Getting into it. What does the angels have to say? Messages for Sagittarius. What do the angels have to say? All right. Advice for Sagittarius during this Pisces season. Our fiery sides during this watery season. It's like it's careful time for you because what <laughs> puts out a fire is water. So it's careful, it's clutch time for you in Pisces season. It means what you start now is so important later. All right. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or a book. All right. Write your thoughts down so that they're not crazy things in your head, if that makes sense to you. Right? Get it out. Get it down. Get it written down. Clarify. And then you're able to restructure your thoughts, you know. Add to, deduct from. Your epiphanies can become a reality. New perspective, epiphany, energy cleanse, positive change, healthy boundaries, that's it. Messages, advice. Messages, advice. Do you go with the flow because this is you, right? Or do you trust in yourself because you've already, because you don't need to change? The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless, the more free I am. This is the second time I've pulled this card today. <laughs> it says, Joy is the ultimate creator. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, healing into conflict, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. I choose to learn through love. My happiness is a direct reflection, my level of faith in the universe. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. And finally, you guys, in every moment in the universe, in, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right, 
minded thinking and energy of love. So you're being you're bring, you're being brought toward the right minded, right minded thinking and energy of love, right minded thinking. All right. All right. And any dragon energy, and we'll get into some tarot. I know you're itching. I'm itching too. If you hold your horses there. You flayed and sages, hold your horses one moment. I've got some tarot energy for you. I just wanted to give you some dragon fire too. All right, you like that. I know you like that. Dragon fire coming up, messages, advice. What does Sagittarius need to know during Pisces season? Messages for Sagittarius, fiery Sagittarius, messages, advice. Fire and water dragon. Enables your life to flow with living force, loving force. Prepare for a change, Sagittarius, and move forward quickly. Expect the unexpected. Have fun. Sounds like go with the flow. All right, that'd be my advice. Go with the flow. Don't worry about the trust. It's crossed with trust. Yeah, I feel like if what you're doing has been great, you wouldn't be looking for the advice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go with the flow. All right. Let's get into it. Messages. Advice. Foresight. What does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius, my bad. I'm focused. We're here. Let's get it. It's Pisces season. Messages for Sagittarius. is weighing heavy on your mind, Sagittarius. Um, the lovers is in your personality. The lovers is in your personality. All right. Um, you want love. You're in a loving mood. You're caring. You're generous. You're, you're positive. You're, um, you're showing your warmth. You're showing your sun energy, which means you're just giving caring loving nurturing type of energy to those around you all right you choose to learn through love instead of praying for an outcome you pray for the highest good for all your happiness it's a direct reflection of the level of faith you have in the universe and in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring you towards right-minded thinking and the energy of what yes love that's your general personality um love I'm going to do Sagittarius to lovers. You stay tuned. In your, in your reflection, in your memory placement, when you think back, when you reflect on the past and your recent past, star energy. This is Aquarius energy. This is you wanting to wish, wanting to dream, wanting to have genuine offers, wanting to have real abundance, real choices, real options. Um... This is you when you wanted to grow, when you felt like you could sing, when you felt like you could trust, when you felt like you could see straight and you had the right vision. You're reflecting on this time when, um, the, when, when your wish was your command, right? Knight of Cups is in your mental inclination. This is what weighs heavy on your mind. 
forward action, someone moving forward with a generous offer, with a new perspective, someone moving forward within healthy boundaries, but with a positive change. Someone you would prove gracious for, gratitude for, right? And, and trust them. You would have trust with them. And what you're in the mood for is that energy, divine masculine, in control of their feelings, in control of their emotions. Still a mystery, but authoritative. They handle business, they're secure, they are stable. Generous, abundant. In your heart matters, Sagittarius, fire energy, the emperor. Leadership, authority, someone in power, someone in control, someone that has your attention, someone you sing to, someone that tells you you can, someone who has that, that vision for you. They confirm what you know to be true, that you've changed, that you can continue to change and that you're healing, okay? It weighs heavy on your heart. They could be third party interference. They could be that third party in this sense with lovers, all right? They could very well be someone that represents the lovers for you. Mental, physical, spiritual health, king of swords. You're in control of your health, Sagittarius. You're in control of it. Oh, you're cutting off what you need to cut off. If it's not necessary, boom, it's done. You move forward in this sense. You're not stagnant. You're not stuck. You make decisions, choices. You move forward. Life-changing decisions. When it comes to your health, you don't play. You're not cautious. And you're not um, lost here. You're very authoritative. You're, you're here. You're present when it comes to your health. All right. We have the sun. These are the people around you, your community, your environment, your society, friends, family, neighbors, um, colleagues, bosses, whatever this is for you here. It could even be lovers, um, the people around you. They're in sun energy. They're happy. They're genuinely happy. They're having this positive energy. Some of them have had an epiphany, the new perspective energy cleanse. Um, Perhaps they're presenting, you know, just the same friendship and you're, I don't know here, but um, the people around you, society, they're happy, genuinely happy. They're moving forward with genuine offers. All right, this is clarified by that Knight of Cups that weighs heavy on your mind here. Um, the people around you are offering that. What's ending for you? Ten of Pentacles is ending for you. This energy, this cycle of Ten of Pentacles, this is ending for you. All right, this is security in a sense. Um, this is the codependency probably for you. This is ending for you. It may be a part of the epiphany, the new perspective and the energy cleanse, but having this codependency, having to depend on, you see the child clutching their parent. This is ending for you. This is this could possibly prove why you're um, becoming more abundant. All right. Um, spiritual tendencies. Let's go. Spiritual tendencies. King of Wands. Mr. Burger King. Mr. Gotta have it your way. All right. Um, I will say with your spiritual tendencies, if it fits the sh if if the shoe fits, you'll wear it. When it comes to your spiritual tendencies, a lot of push and pull energy here. All right. Um, if it if it if it goes with the lovers, if it goes with the teacher, you're for it. All right. Job, career, <laughs> the magician. You're making new windows, new opportunities, new offers when it comes to your job, your career, finances, hobbies, projects, whatever this is for you. Gigs, side hustles, income streams, okay, Sagittarius, whatever this is for you, magician. You're inspiring, you're creating a positive change, you're creating new perspectives for those around you. People are inspired by you. 
All right. People are amazed by you. You give inspiration. You get your amuse for people around you. You allow um, clarity for them. You, you allow trust. Um, they're able to see, make changes, wish, and cut people off if need be because of the environment and the energy you give off. Sagittarius, what are you dreaming about? What is your sun? Your sun, nine pentacles. What you want, desire, what you're passionate about, what you're devoted to here. Nine of pentacles, you want security. You want legacy. You want to leave abundance behind. You want everyone around you to have the highest good. All right? That's genuine. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. And that's genuine for you. I love that. That's your son, genuine love for all. Listen, nine of pentacles, the sun, knight of cups, all right? Genuine love for all. This is what you wish, and it's true. It's genuine to you. You mean it. You're a true, genuine soul, very warm. I love your energy. You need a, you deserve a hug, okay? Strength is what's going to prove difficult for you. Internal strength, inner strength. Make sure you regain your balance, regain your energy with this energy cleanse, okay? Rest, rejuvenation, restoration. Take a beat, okay? Health, health, health. The star, okay? It is what you make it. Life is what you make it. Knight of Swords. Action. Take action on your health. Hear me now. Because you need strength. It's going to prove difficult. All right. Push and pull energy. You're going to be dragging your ass around. Push and pull hot and cold. All right. You're going to feel separated from yourself. If you don't have the inner strength. Inner strength. Yeah, boy. All right. It felt like a warning. Sagittarius, that felt like a warning. That was so weird. Like, rejuvenate. Make sure you have the energy for this. Whatever's coming, it's a life-changing decision. We've got tucked down back here, life-changing decision. Restoration. Ego equals death. Make sure you change. Walking meditation, just go. Intergalactic mastery, which is confirmation. Sing, food meditation, I can, vision, bliss is trust, trust is bliss. You're thinking love, but think truth, think growth, think clarity, think moving forward. All right. Ooh, we've got the lovers, it's in your personality, positive changes, new perspectives. You've got the good energy for it. So let's go. What's love got to do with it? No need for the extension. I'm going to throw Sagittarius the Lovers right here. If you stayed till the end, where are we at? 28 minutes. So thank you for being here. Listen, if you haven't already, like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel. All right. The likes count as far as getting my videos out there. The algorithms have changed, especially for long videos. They only want the shorts. They only want these quick 15-second videos like TikTok. I think they're turning YouTube into TikTok now. Don't hate the messenger. Hate the game. All right, don't hate the messenger here. But anywho, like the video. Leave a message down below if you'd like a personal reading. I never charge. Just here for you. All right. Sagittarius the Lovers. What do we have? Get you some romantic advice, messages, foresight for you. Messages, advice, and some foresight for you. Let's go. Healing. Family issues. 
your love life benefits as you forgive your parents forgive your parents that inner child healing right hidden emotions all right so we've got hidden emotions here past relationship you have known each other before so someone's coming around they're not new they're no stranger to you children your love life is being affected by children we've got inner child healing family issues unrequited love all right there's not enough attraction or chemistry keep this relationship going all right um and that could be with this past relationship perhaps with the children even on a good day there's no renewing this rekindling this fire i can dig it but i do have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment someone's going to start taking you seriously or vice versa swap that if you need be all right attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully living in the moment going with the flow how we started this reading all right reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life but we've already discussed unrequited love all right there's not enough love attraction or chemistry baby I'm going to try to make this the cover photo for this video. No means no. We're keeping the past in the past, Sag. All right. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations are going to bring you together. Keep bringing this person to you. Keep pushing. All right. Don't you, don't you let go. Don't let go. Bring this person forward. Maybe they were a friend. Maybe you considered dating and you didn't start getting into it. I don't know what this is for you, but love is on your mind, right? Love is weighing heavy on your mind. This person's a teacher of sorts. They give you teacher energy, emperor energy, fire, Aries energy, all right? They're opening you up mentally. They're opening your heart. In some way, shape, or form, they are teaching you something that you weren't aware of, you weren't, you were missing. Mm. Peekaboo. All right, I dropped one. I dropped one for you, you guys. Beware that what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflections. Mm hmm. All right. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, Sagittarius, for life is too precious to waste. You create your own reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give it to yourself. Self-love here. All right, a little bit of self-love. And finally, my beloved. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. You know, past soulmates, future soulmates, whatever they may be to you, love is what love is. Sometimes you can't fight it. Sometimes you can't help who you love. Sometimes you want to get over individuals and they're not willing to let go of you. Um, <laughs> love is um, demanding, isn't it? I'm going to title this thought for you. Love is demanding, isn't it? Even when you don't know who you're aiming at. <laughs> Cupid's little butt is going to shoot something. Right? Something. Transformation, breakthrough, reinvention. 
you're ready for the next level. Don't be afraid. Inner child again. Playful, happy, enjoy the present moment and live life to the fullest. Healing from your inner child doesn't mean forgetting your inner child, right? Divine timing, patience, perseverance, peace, trust that the divine knows when. And pause, in action, calmness, step back. Wait for the signs. Wait for divine timing, the divine knows when. The divine knows when things need to start moving. Be patient. Don't let people tell you when love needs to start. Divine knows when. All right. Appreciate. Today I am grateful. Your twin appreciates you. See the blessings. Practice appreciation. And summer. The time to see the sunny side. Your answers arrive in the summer. And the outcome here, results, conclusion, ending. There's a resolution here. Something is ending for you. Something is ending in bottom of the deck. It's a fresh start. Something's ending, so there's a fresh start somewhere, right? New opportunity, release the past. This is your second chance. All right, that's the twin flame reading for you. Um, that's what I have in general. I will go ahead and give you some <laughs> rebel death just because we're here. If your ears are sensitive, go ahead and stop watching now if you can't handle a pinch of personality written on some cards in front of you. You know, if you have to do rated G, rated TVY7 for young, absolutely do not continue watching. There may be profanity, which means bad language. Okay, so go ahead and push the mute button, and I'll give you a thumbs up when it's all clear. Messages, advice. What does Sagittarius need to know? Let's get you some spicy advice here. Some spicy advice. What do you need to know the most? All right, what do you need to know? All right, here we go. Thoughts can be lying, sneaking bastards. Don't believe every thought that you have, okay? I feel like that's great advice also, great advice. You need some time alone and you know why. Don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. <laughs> you need a big fucking hug. Sagittarius, I love you, squeeze. <laughs> you are talented and amazing. The world needs to hear your power. They need your power. Use your voice for something else, not just dumb things, all right? You're talented, you're amazing. Get some sleep. You're being an ass because you're tired. Face to pillow now. Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or quit the job. Absolutely no use hanging on to something you don't love or something that brings you down mentally, physically, spiritually, right? Right? Don't forget to laugh. Where's your sense of humor? Remember it, it's very important. Growth, moving forward, getting through pain. All right, give some love, get some love. It'll cheer your ass up. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit. Forgive, let that shit go. 
And our final card, our final rebellious card is Detox. Drink a smoothie. All right, unfriend the asshole. Throw some shit out. Detox. All right, here we go. All done with that. And I will give you some pure magic and some be your own magic. All right, be your own magic. Sagittarius, you are your own magic. Listen, you're talented. You're freaking amazing. You need a hug, all right? Don't talk to anybody. Don't look at anyone. You need to detox. Let these people go. Move forward. Shame, regret, and guilt. Mm. These things are not worth moving forward. Love is worth moving forward. That's about it. Don't focus on anything that's not that. All right, you deserve sugar, not salt. Joy is the ultimate creator. What else can I say for you? Strength is going to prove difficult for you, so regain your balance. Listen, do some yoga, drink some water, eat some vegetables, positive change. Keep your energy strong because whatever choice you decide, whatever life decision, choice that you make here, it's going to require a good energy. All right, good, strong energy. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. All right, that's too many. That's good, clear, specific for Sagittarius. We're in Pisces season right now. Library. Take control of your own narrative, Sagittarius. All right, life-changing decisions. Life-changing decisions. 22, 11, portal, boom. Life-changing decisions, all right? In red, bottom of the deck, forgive. All right. Let's get you some magic magic. All right. Pure magic oracle. I was going to keep it short and sweet for you, but, you know, I threw the love in there. Why not? I'm going to throw the love in there. You deserve some. All right, you're amazing. Can't not do love when you're talking to the fire signs, right? You gotta just kind of touch it with love. I've got four messages for you. 32, which is five, mirror magic, lunar light, past lives, spectrum, and self-care. We already talked about the past relationship and where that flame is not getting relit. 36, redu uh, 36 reduces to 9, which is wounds. Remedy, magical medicine, sacred heart, another day. All right, number 6. Hecate's path, cycle of life, night magic, crossroads, letting go. And number 35 reduces to 8. Closing circle, pure intent, sacred doors, timing, and experience. Timing and experience, divine timing, um, that's come up a few times for you today. So I would definitely say take your time, be patient, but go with the flow. You have some life-changing decisions to make. Get some sleep. Re-energize. Regain your balance. Your strength is going to prove difficult for you. You've got love on your mind. Love is coming in. You've got a lot of opportunities for love. All right, I've got a fresh start. I've got a good outcome happening here transformation and appreciation a lot of ways to bring in abundance of love trust yourself trust what you're capable of and um good luck with everything Sagittarius blessed be